Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Zaden Fashion. My name is Adarin De Kaberat. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw different kind of necklines and as time goes on we'll be treating the other kind of neckline and if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button that's the only way you can support me like comment and without further ado let's dive right into the video i made like a basic bodice to draw my neckline and this is my arm o line for beginners you might not really understand what i'm talking about but when we draft the basic bodies you understand better but to, for now let's just focus on the neckline so the first neckline we'll be drafting is the round neckline but before that if you want to make the width of your neckline longer make sure the length is shorter you get my point and if you want to make the width shorter make the length longer it's almost like it's directly proportional to each other if you make both sides wide wide you understand like you might um you might you might have a little problem at that point and now we'll take three and a half inches for the neckline for the width of the neckline and we'll take four inches for the length of the neckline this is the round neckline i'm drafting now and i'll just take the three and a half inches i took above i'll take it here also just to give me a perfect square and a straight line that's why i'm doing that so i'm just going to connect my lines together like so then connect this also together like so so now i'm going to use my curve to give it the round neck shape so i'm just going to place my curve like so make sure it's touching the tip of both sides of that's this side of the paper and also it's touching the tip of this side of the paper then you just follow the line you follow the curve i mean you follow the curve like so sorry um my paper is kind of shifting my bad sorry so you just follow the curve just like so then you use your scissors to cut that part out so this is what our round neck looks like this is what it looks like it looks so nice so we'll take another piece of paper and measure three and a half inches for the width just like we did for the round neck measure three and a half inches for the width and four inches for the length so i'm also going to measure three and a half inches below to give me a perfect square then i'll connect my lines together just like so connect the lines together a straight line so the next thing we are going to do is we'll place our ruler and make sure it touches that these two points just like so then we we'll draw a straight line and you can also do it this way if you want your v-neck to be slightly curved you can use a curve driller to to curve it just like so just place your curve driller this way and draw the line just like so draw the line don't mind my pain it's kind of my ruler is kind of shifting so now that we've done that 
I'm first going to go ahead to cut the straight line for you to see what it looks like. So this is what our v-neck looks like, the straight one without the curve. Now that you've seen how this looks like, we'll go ahead to cut the curved parts of the neckline. So this is what the curved v-neck looks like. And you see, it's slightly curved. It's not as straight as the other one is giving like a curvy v neckline shape next neckline we'll be drafting is the u shape neckline you take three and a half inches for the width and four inches for the length just like so you mark your four inches then i also mark the three and a half inches again to give me a perfect line then connect my lines together like so connect the lines make sure your lines are straight then take your curve by the edge give it a slight curve by the edge just give it a slight curve to give you that kind of U. You know, your U is not um, sharp by the edge. It's like curvy this way. Then you cut it out. So this is what our U neckline looks like. As you can see, it's not sharp by the edge. It's giving you like this U kind of neckline if you want a scoop neckline all you have to do is extend instead of you going for three and a half by four inches you can do three and a half by six inches then it's going to give you, it's going to give you that kind of scooped neckline what we're drafting is our sweetest neckline for the width we're going to take three and a half inches and for the length we are going to take seven inches for the length then i'm going to mark three and a half below to give it a straight line to get to, yeah to make my my line very straight so i'm just going to connect like so then connect to the one on top so after doing this you take your tape you're going to measure four inches from the top down you measure four inches it all depends on your preference you can still measure four and a half inches and make your total length eight inches but we made around seven inches so just measure four inches down and give it a straight line after drawing your straight line you take your curve and place it like so oh not like that yeah like so you place it like so make sure it's touching these these two ends like so then you cut it out this is what your sweet at neckline looks like when you open it up you can see it's so beautiful this is what your sweet at neckline looks like when you open it up the, the next neckline we'll be drafting is our Queen Anne neckline. It's almost like the sweetheart neckline. Also, you measure three and a half inches for the width. We've been using three and a half inches because that's the standard for neckline, three to three and a half inches. I said that earlier. Don't get confused. You can actually increase it. It all depends on your preference. You can make it three inches. So three and a half inches for the width and seven inches for the length. I'm also going to take three and a half inches below to give it a perfect square. Then I'll connect it like so. I'll connect it like so. I'll connect it like so. So from the top. 
from the top which is the shoulder line you come down by four inches just like we did for the sweetheart neckline or three and a half so i'll come down i came down by three and a half inches then draw a straight line so on that line i will increase the, le the width of that line by one and a half inches or two inches but because this body is not very is not very wild so i'm just going to increase it by one inches so i'm going to connect it to join the uh, this other line so what i'm not going to do is i'm going to take my curve then place it like so Place it like so, then connect it to a new the line we extended earlier. This line we extended. So from that point, you take your ruler, then connect it like so. Connect it like so. Then you cut it out. So this is what our queen and neckline looks like when we open it up can you see it's almost like this with that neckline but there's a slight difference the next thing we'll be drafting is our outer neck so you have to determine what kind of neck you want for your outer neck it could be v-neck it could be round neck it all depends on your preference so we we'll use round neck so i will measure three and a half inches width just like i did earlier and um, four inches for the length so i'm just going to mark the three and a half inches again to give me a perfect square then i'm going to connect it using my ruler just like so so after connecting i'm going to take my curve to give it the round neck shape just like so i'm sure you can remember the way we did our round neck earlier so after connecting my curve to give it the round neck shape i'll pl i'll place my curve like so from that point make sure you connect it down to your armhole line the first line was a mistake so just connect it down to your armhole line then you cut so this is what your outer neck looks like can you see it looks so beautiful The next neckline we're drafting is the scallop neckline. So I'm going to mark three and a half inches for the width and seven inches for the length. Seven inches for the length. Then I'll mark the three and a half inches below again to give me a perfect square, like I've already said, then connect it together. Then I'll connect it together. So after connecting together, like so, you're going to draw a straight line like this from this edge to the other edge. Draw a straight line. After drawing your straight line, you're going to mark two, two inches on the line, just like you are dividing the line. It all depends on your preference. You can make it bigger so two or you can even make it smaller so i'm marking two two inches on the line so i'm going to take my curve and try and connect it this way also this way so i'll take my curve connect it from that point to this point from this point to this point again and from this point 
to this point also below i'll connect it you can also decide to do a free hand connection using your hands just eyeball it and connect it to the other points to the other points like so to the other point if you want it more pronounced if you don't really want it pronounced you could actually go with the first one i drew but if you want it more pronounced you go for the other one i drew so that's it then you cut it off like so this is what the scallop neckline looks like as you can see it is more pronounced because i made it call deeper if you don't want to pronounce it you go with you go with the first curve so the next neckline we're drafting is the asymmetric neckline do with the asymmetric line is that you're going to open it up you don't cut it on fold then you have to determine where you want it to be like where you want the asymmetric line to fold so at this point because i want it to fall at this way i'm going to take two inches at the other points i'm going to take about um three and a half inches then for the length i'm going to go um for six inches then i'll connect the lines together like so connect the lines together like so after connecting the lines you're going to mark a straight line from that point to this point then you cut it out tight to make it slightly curved if you don't want it too straight so you use a curved trailer to give it that curvy shape so like so you just connect it from that point to this point so i'm i'm going to cut the straight line first before curving before, before cutting the curved one for you to see what it looks like This is what the straight one looks like so now we're going to cut out the curved one this is what the curved one looks like it's a little bit curved it's not straight if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up like comment share just do whatever for us to grow i really appreciate that see you in my next video Bye.